Coach, um, this obviously turned into a stat game. Was that something that you anticipated when you were scouting on this team? You know, it was a little difficult scouting them because they haven't played much. I know they're really well coached. I know Coach Lord really, really well, and, and he always has their team prepared. Um, they've had some quarantine woes, if you will, so there's not a lot of non-conference or conference games. In fact, we were their first true conference game. Um, but we knew kind of the system a little bit and that dribble drive, they want to get downhill. They shoot a lot of threes that we needed to contest. I thought we did a good job defensively kind of flying around. Um, I say this, I feel like almost every time I'm here, if it's not your assignment, it's your assignment. We did a good job that today. Now, speaking of threes, um, I know that's something you've been working on because you have not been a really good outside shooting team for the, the season as a whole. But today, everything clicked. I mean, when Tiana threw that prayer up, <laughs> you know, the shot clock, it not only went in, but it went off the glass. She didn't call it, obviously. <laughs> well, you know, what, what do you attribute to just the better outside shooting? Um, you know, we've, we've been working on getting our feet set a little bit more and then moving, trying to get inside out threes instead of just kind of prayer threes. And for us, I think we did a better job of moving and catching and being ready to shoot. I think we can still improve on that a little bit. But I think it showed, you know, we, we tell them, this is your home court. Have confidence on your home floor. And they did that today. And I think once you see the first one go in, you gain confidence throughout the game. Now, I like the fact that you, you implemented and you kept the press on even when you had a large lead. All coaches wouldn't have done that, but I think that, you know, you're looking at the big picture. You got the last month of February in the regular season, and you're, you know, you're always looking towards March. And is that why you did that? Um, you know, even sometimes when I try to call off the dogs, it's just their natural instinct to go up there and press. We tried to bring them back a little bit that fourth quarter, but they just turn around and tag whoever's closest. So that's just a little bit of instinct. And, um, you know, it's, it's funny. It's like we don't have a 2-3 zone to drop back in. Like that's us. That's our brand. And that's who we are. And we're trying to just get better um, every game and every opportunity we get to play someone else and get better at our brand. So that's kind of our brand of basketball, and they're sticking to it, which is fine by me. How do you how do you grade your team right now in the first week of February, knowing that you have to you want to peak this month going into next month? Well, I'm like that really hard history teacher that you didn't get the grade you deserve. So <laughs> that's probably not an unfair question to ask me with kind of that critical eye. But um, I've said this before, we haven't peaked yet. So we're not quite at an A, but I think our A game is scary. So we can get there. Um, I think these kids are willing and able. Uh, right now, we're a little inconsistent. So that's our biggest to jump that letter grade, if you will, if we're going to use that analogy, um, is to be a little bit more consistent in our play, especially on the offensive end. But even today, I think we've took a step forward defensively. We're always going to be aggressive in the full, but I think our half court defense was really good today. And your ball movement was exceptional today. It's probably the best uh, half you've had in the first half all season, would you say that? Yeah, we've worked on that. You know, it's, it's hard because when you're implementing a new brand on both sides. My side has been defense focus, and, and that focus has taken up a lot of practice. So there's only so many hours in the day that you can implement something. And so our offense um, might have lacked a little bit because of that, but now our offense is catching up to our defense. So kind of when you mirror those things together, we can be a pretty dangerous team. And I'm, I'm excited to get better as the month of February goes along. Thank you. Thank you. Do you feel like that was one of your most complete victories to I do, I do, and that's a, that's a good thing right now. I think it was complete. I also think um, across the board, whoever was in was a factor, and that's good to see when you can go. I mean, we played everyone on our bench that was eligible to play, and they made contributions. So I think when you get deep into the season, that's huge for you to be able to rely on one through 11 for us right now. Is that especially good streaming a couple of those together because Charlton kind of looked like that in the second game? Yeah, you know, this team's just figuring it out. It takes a while to figure out something brand new. They're gaining confidence in that, too. So as I look at LP and giving me the thumbs up, I'm going to give her a thumbs up also because you know, she's kind of the, the catalyst to all this, and she's really buying in on both ends of the floor, as is everyone. So it's, it's fun to see. I'm really proud of this team. I mean, we, we kind of love each other. We go to battle together. Um, we have fun together. I, I want them to love this game. I want them to have fun, and that's what we're doing right now. So it's, it's, as a coach, that's a joy to see. We mentioned last game Tiana's stuff doesn't always show up in the box score, but today it did. She was like here. Football safety with the pick six a couple times. <laughs> yeah, I have to say go Chiefs because I'm a Missouri <laughs> native for the pick six uh, analogy for Super Bowl Sunday right around the corner. But Tiana, she, she gets it. You know, she's bought into what we need her to do. 
Um, I remember probably the first day I stepped on campus and got to work with her, I said, you can be our best on-ball defender that we have. And I don't really take that statement back now. She is bought into that role. She hassles the ball up the floor. She really loves, I mean, from my perspective, she's lo she loves that role and playing defense and making that impact. Um, and I tell her, I was like, that's where you're earning your keep right now, is that defense and that mentality and that aggressive nature that she plays with. So I'm really proud of her. Um, we can always rely on her to kind of control probably their best player and their ball handler. And that's great having someone like that come off the bench for you and giving that spark. What's the psychology of kind of having the inverse of last weekend? You have a, a more dominant first win and guard against the, the I guess, the relax for the second game. Well, I mean, my girls laughed at me in the locker room. I say this, another chiefism, but like run it back. We got to kind of play just that hard again and repeat what we did and what made us successful. I think for us, um, a big thing, a couple of keys, we need to get better in transition defense a little bit. Rebounding's always going to be uh, like on our to-do list to get a little bit better. Um, so those things we'll, we'll focus. We'll have a little bit of a film session. They do really good watching film and then taking it to the next game. So it just has to be that, that same focus. I mean, I mean, we want to improve as we go. We don't want to go backwards in the opposite way. So you just have to have that mentality and that message going into game two. You guys really did a great job on their top two scores. <laughs> and neither one got away from you all game. Yeah, we, they did a good job of focusing on, on Scout. Um, they're a unique team, and they have all five players on the, on the court. It's not like you could really dial in on one. You stop her, you stop the team. They're dangerous in their offense with how they can shoot it. Uh, but I thought we did a really good job of knowing your personnel. We always say KYP, you know your personnel, and they did a good job that today.